Hi then, I'm here to show you what you need to know in order to prevent your mask from fogging up. In getting this right, not only will you save a bit of money, you'll look cooler on a dive site, but you won't be plagued by that mask just fogging up throughout your dives and you'll be able to just get on your dive. Hi, I'm Andy Dog Diver. Do you have problems with your mask steaming up? Can you not clear the fog? Watch this video and I'll show you how to stop it. Welcome to another video in this series of scuba diving tutorials. In this we're going to be talking about how to prevent your mask from fogging up and stop it doing it ever again. If this is your first time here and you want to improve your own setup or some techniques, click the subscribe and then you'll easily find all of our other videos. While you're there, if you hit the little bell icon at the side of it, you'll get a little notification every time we post a new video. If you haven't got a YouTube account, what are you going to do? If you click up here, there's a link to another video that will show you how you go about setting one up if you don't know how to. And make sure you stay around to the end where I'll be giving you my top tip. We're going to be talking about masks and trying to stop them fogging up when you're wearing them. Certainly a new mask is always going to be prone to that and that's because the inside of it or the, the actual surface of that lens microscopically looks like an egg box and, and your breath, whether it be from your nose or the, the warmth of your face, will help the air that's within the mask condense on the microscopic uneven surface of the inside of your mask so we need to wear them down so before we start if you give us a like at the bottom that'll help us make more videos if you want to see any more click subscribe a little red box at the bottom and that'll help you keep abreast of any any new videos we make so obviously now we're going to get on to trying to show you how to with a new mask or even an old one if it's if it's causing you problems how to um, reduce that build up of condensation on the inside of your mask. So first things first, I'm going to strip the mask down. I'm going to take this strap off, just make it a bit easier because it's just going to be in the way. So we'll get rid of that. So we can get, we've got full access now to the inside of the mask. They've dug around in the cupboards. I've got a few things out that most people should have in their house. So I've got some toothpaste. And if you look at it, this is a whitening one. The reason I want to use a whitening one is it's ever so slightly more abrasive. I've also got two types of lighter. There you go. Obviously it's just a slight blip flame whereas this one's more of a can you see that and then i've got from the dive shop these sea drops there's there's various different models and um but if you if you haven't got any of that just some normal hand cleanser or even fairy liquid will do what i'm going to do is just get a pea-sized amount of this whitening toothpaste and just spread it all over the lens So now that it's dried, I'm just going to work that in, really pressing on quite hard, remembering you're trying to wear down the microscopic irregularities of the lens to make it as smooth as possible. So the longer you spend doing this, the better. Once it's done, go and rinse it off. So bring the mask over now, give that a good clean out, get rid of all that toothpaste. So what I'm going to now do is burn or warm and you can see it misting up on that side. You just need to do this half a dozen times. Try and stay away from the, the rubber. As long as you don't overly heat it and you just keep the flame moving. And as long as your lighter comes on. You know I like these kind of lighters because you can get them inside without, you know like the usual one you strike and you kind of get your hand right in there. These are a lot easier to control so you, when you can get it lit. The next thing I'd do is get some cleaner in there, take off any oily residue that's in it. I get some of my sea drops, a couple of drops, squirt round, cover all the skirt, the nose, and then certainly the lens part, and then leave that. So I'd continue using your whitening toothpaste, not only on your teeth, but get it inside your mask. Do it just for a good 20 minutes if you can, if you can be bothered, if your fingertips don't wear away. That way you'll really get a nice smooth finish to the inside of your mask and you'll notice just how different it's become. And then every time you go diving, wash it out before you get in the water, the entire mask with some of this sea drops or sea gold or whatever you want to buy. It's normally about three or four quid um, from dive shop 
absolutely bob on. Beats spitting in it, and you know, there's nothing worse than having spit all in your in your in your mask and that is it's a bit grotty so hope you enjoyed this video then if you've got any other ideas of how you can go about cleaning your mask off to stop it fogging up put them in the comments below and surely i might learn something or someone else might learn something else or i'll make another video on it and i'll comment back and i'll give you a thumbs up thanks very much thanks for watching see you on the next one see you on insta